Digital driver's licences are being rolled out across Victoria to give motorists the option of a paperless permit on their smartphones. But the modern shift comes with a warning from security experts to watch out. I will take that phone out of your hands. Do you understand that? You have no right to i got to say, you're going to love it. Like, it's just going to be just woo! It's so good. It's so good. It's so exciting. i got to say, you're going to love it. Like, it's just going to be just woo! It's so good. It's so good. It's so exciting. We want to uh, work with uh, Victoria Police because we want to test it on roadside. The digital ID gives users three options. One displays all details, including licence number, expiry, residential address and a barcode that can be scanned by police. If a user chooses to hide their information, they can select the identity option, which will only reveal their date of birth. The third choice allows the driver to hide their date of birth and only confirms that they're over 18. Yeah in your bra. Bill Gates is warning of the risks of artificial intelligence. Then the opposite would have to be right. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman told me he's a little bit scared about this technology. Are you scared? We're all scared that a bad guy could grab it. We're all scared that a bad guy could grab it. I know, that's what I'm trying to tell you back on his feet after a harrowing ordeal. All I did was go and take a vaccine. Now Chris Nemeth is fighting for justice. I couldn't walk, I couldn't work. The once healthy 49-year-old became wheelchair-bound after developing a chronic neurological disorder called CIDP. He says the symptoms began two weeks after having his first AstraZeneca vaccination in 2021. They included headaches, tingling fingers, facial palsy and stolen mobility. I was paralysed completely from the waist down. Mr Nemeth is still unwell and claiming millions of dollars in compensation under the federal government's COVID-19 vaccine claim scheme. He's one of more than 3,000 unlucky Australians maintaining COVID vaccines made them ill. We've just had a settlement of $2.2 million for a very deserving applicant. Tanya Nielsen is helping 100 injured Australians claim for recognised vaccine side effects like heart issues from the Pfizer vaccine and Guillain-Barre syndrome from AstraZeneca. So far, the claim scheme has paid 147 people $7.7 million, with more than 2,000 applications in progress. The landmark lawsuit has been launched against the federal government, against the TGA and the Department of Health, and alleges negligence by the TGA in its approval and monitoring of COVID-19 vaccines.